Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install custom vehicles into your guys' 5M server. If you haven't already watched the previous video on how to install V menu, then make sure you guys check that out since that is going to be needed in order to spawn in your vehicles. Unless you have a different way of spawning in your vehicles already, or you guys already have V menu installed. But if you have already, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first link down in the description below. Bring you guys right here to a car pack. You can install any car pack as long as it is 5M ready. Right now I'm installing this one. If you don't want to install this one and you have something else in mind, you can always install that. It will be the exact same way with slightly different names, of course. But install this. What you guys are going to want to do is download your file, whatever one you're downloading, whether it be this or not, and then open it on up and go inside of the folder that it provides you and you should be able to see that eventually you'll be met with something like this. It will say stream and then a bunch of different metas, which is very, very similar to how GTA 5 would have it laid out with your metas. But instead of actually having to put it into a file directory itself, every one of the vehicles file directories are all within one big file. So it's actually a lot more easier than installing cars as it would be usually in GTA 5 story mode. But if you go inside of stream, that will be where your vehicle files themselves are. And outside of here is where your handling metas are and basically everything that puts the vehicle into one piece. If you go back again, you should have a folder that contains all of that. Now to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is find your guys' server files. And once you guys have done that, go inside an FX server, go to TX data, and then choose your server file, and then go into resources. And now we're going to create a car file directory. So right click, new folder, then make sure you guys do your brackets in order to stop your 5M server from reading this file and it will go straight to the files inside. Call it cars and then close the bracket unless you guys wanna have civilian cars and LEO cars, it kind of just depends. But as long as you guys keep your 5M server nice and tidy, that is the main idea. But go inside of your cars folder and then make sure you guys name your file that contains all of your car files a, to a corresponding name. So for example, this one, we're going to call it Tahoe. Like this. And then we'll drag and drop this into your cars folder. And from here, what you guys are going to want to do is simply copy and paste your folder name. Go back out of resources and then find your guys' server.cfg. Open that on up ensure and then control v and then what we're going to do in order to keep your 5m server even more neat is we're going to do a couple of hashtags this means that it will stop reading this line of code whenever you have a hashtag in your guys's cfg it means it will not read it as a line of code so you can kind of do it in order to organize what sort of resources are where so they're going to call this cars and then from now on whenever you guys put a resource under here and start it that will always be your cars. Hit save and then close. Then what you guys are going to want to do is go into your guys' resources again, go into menus, go into V menu, go into config, and then you should be able to see here you guys will have a add ons.json. If you guys do have a different way in spawning in your vehicle files, and you do it a different way. But if you guys are using V menu, then this is how you guys do it. You guys are going to want to add it to your add ons list, which will basically mean that when you guys spawn in game and you go to vehicle spawner under add on section, that is where your car will be. If you guys don't want to have it under add on section, you guys can always leave it at this stage and you can spawn it in through your guys's code spawn in name, which will be whatever the actual file directory names are. So for example, it'll be unmarked Tahoe. But if you guys are going to do it this way, which is a way I would recommend since it is much, much easier, open up your JSON. Then inside of here, you guys are going to want to delete add on vehicle name one and then copy and paste whatever the file name for the car is minus the file type at the end. So control C and make sure you guys are putting it in the end, in the middle of those speech marks and control V. And then from here, whenever you guys add a vehicle onto your guys' add-ons.json, make sure you guys always have a comma because whenever you have a comma, that means that the line of code will then move on to the next line. But if you guys don't have a comma, then that means your line of code has ended. As you guys can see here, this is the last file at the end of the vehicles list. 
So it doesn't have a comma, but if you are to add another one, so by control seeing and entering and control V, you would have to then put a comma on the end, not a comma, a comma on the end of the one before, just to ensure that your server files do read it correctly. But once you guys have done that and you guys have successfully named your guys' vehicle files, what you guys want to do is close out of that and then save. You can now close your download files. You can go back to your server directory. And now we should be able to start up your server, hop in game, and I'll show you guys that it should be successfully installed. If you guys are in game, what you guys want to do is hit M to open up your V menu, go to vehicle related options, go to vehicle spawner, go inside of your add ons vehicle section and find your emergency section. And from here, you should be able to see the vehicle that you guys installed in the tutorial. Click A on that or enter, depending on what you are using, keyboard or controller. And you should be able to see that your vehicle will spawn in like it would usually in GTA 5. And there you guys go, you've successfully installed a vehicle, a real vehicle and a custom vehicle into your guys' 5M server. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Tell me down in the comment section what video you want to see next, what tutorial you guys want to see next, or whether you guys just want to see a episode on 5PD again. Let me know in the comment section and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.